Okay, guys, I'm uh, on a no cooling call. I don't know if you can see the temp in there. It's 80, set to 74. In this little server room here. Working on a little EMI mini split. And if you see the code there, EO2, that means clock condensate drain on EMI. So, I'm trying to take this whole thing apart. I got some of it unbolted already here. But uh, these units are a real pain in the neck. You gotta take the whole, whole unit to uh, get this bottom pan off to get to the uh, condensate pump because it's back here. I'm not sure if there's a pump in here, if this is gravity fed. I so. I have to find out and figure it out. So, bear with me. I'll be back when I uh, get in the park here. Okay, so I got the cover off. There's power going over. Here's our pump. Oh yeah, there's water in it. It's just not pumping. We got some water there. So I think we probably got a bad pump. Looks like it's all, it's all full of shit. You can see that. Condensate filter. So that's our filter and this is our pump here. Pacific condensate pump. So Maybe we just got a clogged filter here too. So let me pull this apart and see what we got. Pump's nice and warm. I'm gonna check it. See if we're getting power to it. And go from there. A little water on the pan. So let's check see if we're getting power in the pump. Grab my meter out of here. I don't know if I can check this at the same time as the pump here. I'll try. Should be getting right here. I'm getting 208 to the pump, so I think we got a bad pumper. I'm going to check these lines too and see, make sure nothing's clogged up here. Okay, I kind of cleaned the pump out a little bit, and the switch, plugged it back in. Code's gone. So, either we got a dirty switch and this is probably going to all be cleaned out so I think I'm going to pull all this apart once I get this cooled down a little bit pull all this apart and clean it out real good and see if that uh, see if that works before we go contaminate the pump because uh, this this will tell you this tells the pump to turn on once it's filled up with water and then this will suck the water into the pump and this pushes it out through the condensate line. Up, and you probably can't see up there, but it runs up to a one inch PVC pipe up in the wall up there. Okay, we're already down, already down to 78 degrees, 76 now we're down to. this apart to clean it out and clean this out. I think it needs to be cleaned. I 
that's probably all that's wrong with it. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, uh, here's what I wound up doing on that condensate pump. This little mini split condensate pump here. This thing was like a uh, special order from EMI. It's going to cost over $400 and uh, nobody had one in stock at all anywhere. So here's my solution. Mount a uh, little giant condensate pump off and on the wall. Uh, tied into the safety switch on the unit up there so that it'll still if this condensate pump fails it still then won't run that mini split just like it did before with this pump tied it into the safety switch on the pump and ran some tubing down to the pump and ran our 3 ace tubing over on this side of the wall here there's a mechanical room uh, so I ran it right to the drain. So, if you run into this situation with an EMI mini split or any other mini split for that matter, you probably do the same thing. Um, you can't get a condensate pump for a while. It's a little server room. So, it was like 90 degrees in here. Now it's 71 degrees. So, uh, that's an easy way to take care of the issue and like I said I had all this stuff on the truck so <laughs> got it back down and cooling and the server is now all happy in this little room so EMI junk just so you guys know it's junk that's why they don't sell it around here anymore go with a Mitsubishi or a Fujitsu because these are junk. That pump is junk, but whatever, that's my feelings. All right, thanks for watching, uh, and uh, see you on the next one.